Greetings all you budding witches and wizards out there. Welcome to our mystical crafting session. Today, we're conjuring up a little DIA magic with a project that's sure to brew excitement. A homemade witch's cauldron. Whether you're preparing for Halloween, a theme party, or just love some enchantment in your decor, this craft is perfect for you. Before we delve into the spellbinding process, let's take a look at the ingredients for our cauldron brew. Our first magical step is to transform the humble plastic cauldron into a witch-worthy masterpiece. Begin by applying a layer of black acrylic paint to cover the entire exterior. After it dries, we'll add a touch of enchantment with some metallic silver paint to create the illusion of an ancient and mystical vessel. No cauldron would be complete without its legs. We'll craft ours using the versatile crafting foam or felt. Cut out three identical shapes to serve as the legs, and then securely glue them to the base of the cauldron. These legs not only give it an authentic look, but also create the illusion of a bubbling potion. Every witch or wizard needs a stirring stick, right? We'll create our very own using a wooden dowel. After painting it silver, attach a small crafted foam or felt bubble at one end to complete the look. This stick will give the cauldron the appearance of brewing a potent potion. Now for the magical climax. We'll fill the cauldron with the enchanting glow of a potion. Insert small battery-operated LED lights inside to simulate the appearance of a bubbling and mystical brew. The light shining through the cauldron adds to the spellbinding effect. To give your cauldron that extra dash of witchy charm, don't forget to drape some fake spider webs over the top. You can also go a step further and add plastic insects, toads, or any other spooky critters to enhance the eerie ambience. There you have it, your very own DI Witch's Cauldron. Whether you're a seasoned sorcerer or just someone who appreciates magical decor, this cauldron is a must-have for your collection. If you enjoyed brewing up this enchanting project with us, please show your love by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more fantastic DIY ideas. Until our next mystical adventure, may your cauldron bubble and your spells always be enchanting. Blessed be. Crafting your own DIY Witch's Cauldron, a magical project, a witch's cauldron is an iconic symbol of magic and mystery, often associated with brewing potions and casting spells. Whether you're a seasoned witch or just someone who loves a touch of enchantment in your decor, crafting your own DIY witch's cauldron is a spellbinding project that adds a mystical touch to your space. A large black plastic cauldron, commonly available at craft stores. Acrylic paint in black and metallic silver. Paintbrushes. Crafting foam or felt in various colors. Craft glue. Scissors. A hot glue gun with glue sticks. A wooden dowel or stick. Small battery operated LED lights. Thick spider webs. Optional. Plastic insects, toads, or other eerie critters for extra spookiness. The cauldron transformation. Step 1. Base paint. Begin your enchanting journey by transforming the plain plastic cauldron into a bewitching masterpiece. Apply a layer of black acrylic paint to the entire exterior of the cauldron. Once it's dry, use metallic silver paint to add that touch of enchantment, creating the illusion of an ancient and mystical vessel. Step 2. Crafting Cauldron Legs No cauldron is complete without its distinctive legs. Craft these legs using crafting foam or felt. Cut out three identical shapes to serve as the legs, and securely glue them to the base of the cauldron. Not only do these legs provide an authentic look. Step 3. Crafting the Cauldron Stirring Stick Every witch or wizard needs a stirring stick, and now you can craft your very own. Use a wooden dowel, paint it silver, and attach a small crafted foam or felt bubble at one end. This stirring stick not only adds character, but also makes it appear as if the cauldron is brewing a potent potion. Step 4. Illuminating your potion. What's a cauldron without a glowing potion? Fill your cauldron with the enchanting glow of a potion by inserting small battery-operated LED lights inside. This will simulate the appearance of a bubbling and mystical brew. The light shining through the cauldron adds to the spellbinding effect. Step 5. Cauldron Extras To give your cauldron that extra dash of witchy charm, drape some fake spider webs over the top. You can take it a step further and add plastic insects, toads, or any other spooky critters that suit your taste to enhance the eerie ambience. Crafting your own DIA Witch's Cauldron is a project that allows you to infuse your space with a touch of magic and mystery. Whether you display it as part of your Halloween decor or keep it as a year-round statement piece, your cauldron is sure to enchant anyone who lays eyes on it. Materials you'll need for your DIY Witch's Cauldron 
Creating your DIY, which is called Rip, is an exciting project that allows you to craft a mystical centerpiece for your home decor. To get started, here's a detailed look at the materials you'll need. 1. A large black plastic cauldron. This forms the base of your project. You can typically find these plastic cauldrons at craft stores or online. Choose a size that suits your space and desired cauldron appearance. 2. Acrylic paint in black and metallic silver. Acrylic paint provides the colors for your cauldron's transformation. Black creates the classic, dark cauldron look, while metallic silver adds a touch of elegance and antiquity. 3. Paintbrushes You'll need a set of paintbrushes to apply the acrylic paint evenly to the cauldron. Different brush sizes can help you achieve various effects. 4. Crafting foam or felt in various colors These materials are used for creating decorative elements like the cauldron's legs and potion bubbles. The choice of colors can be tailored to your personal preference. 5. Craft Glue Craft glue is essential for securing the crafting foam or felt to the cauldron and for various other bonding needs during the project. 6. Scissors Scissors are indispensable for cutting and shaping the crafting foam or felt to create the legs, potion bubbles, and other design elements. 7. Hot Glue Gun with Glue Sticks A hot glue gun is ideal for attaching the cauldron legs and other parts that require a strong, secure bond. It's also great for affixing additional decorations. 8. Wooden Dowel or Stick This dowel or stick will serve as the stirring stick for your cauldron. Choose a length that complements the cauldron's size and style. 9. Small battery-operated LED lights LED lights are used to illuminate your cauldron, creating the illusion of a bubbling, magical potion. Battery-operated lights are safe and convenient for this purpose. 10. Big spiderwebs These add an eerie and mysterious touch to your cauldron's appearance. You can drape them over the top of the cauldron for a classic spooky effect. 11. Optional Plastic insects, toads, or other eerie critters Adding plastic creatures like insects, toads, or spiders can enhance the overall ambience of your cauldron and make it even more spellbinding. With these materials at your disposal, you're all set to embark on your DIY Witch's Cauldron project. Whether you're an experienced crafter or just starting, this project offers a delightful opportunity to infuse your space with magic and create a captivating centerpiece that can be enjoyed year-round or as part of your Halloween decor. Happy crafting! The Cauldron Transformation – Ruining DIY Magic Now that you've gathered all the essential materials, it's time to embark on the transformation of your plain plastic cauldron into a captivating and bewitching centerpiece. The cauldron transformation process is the heart of this DIY project, and it's where your creativity and imagination come into play. Let's dive into the steps of this magical metamorphosis. Step 1. Base Paint – Casting a Black Spell your first enchanting step is to give the cauldron a dramatic makeover. The black acrylic paint is your go-to tool for this task. Apply a generous layer of black paint to the entire exterior of the cauldron, creating a solid, inky black canvas. This not only sets the stage for a dark and mystic ambience, but also covers up any plain or colorful markings on the plastic surface. Step 2. Creating Cauldron Legs For a standout cauldron, no cauldron is complete without its distinctive legs. Here's where your crafting foam or felt comes into play. Cut out three identical shapes to serve as the legs, and then, using craft glue, securely attach them to the base of the cauldron. These legs not only provide stability to your cauldron, but also create the illusion of a cauldron bubbling with a mysterious and magical potion. Step 3. Crafting the Cauldron Stirring Stick Adding a Touch of Magic What's a cauldron without a stirring stick? You can craft your very own using a wooden dowel or stick, Bring a touch of magic to it, paint the dowel silver, adding to its mystical charm. To complete the look, attach a small crafting foam or felt bubble at one end. This stirring stick not only serves as an enchanting addition, but also makes it appear as if the cauldron is actively brewing a potent potion. Step 4. Illuminating your potion, let there be light. Every witch's cauldron needs an enchanting brew, and the magical ingredient here is light. Fill your cauldron with the enchanting glow of a potion by inserting small battery-operated LED lights inside. These lights create the illusion of a bubbling and mystical brew, adding to the cauldron's magical and captivating aura. Step 5. Cauldron Extras Adding the eerie touch. To give your cauldron that extra dash of witchy charm, don't forget to drape some fake spider webs over the top. 